part of Bleacher Report's DNA is to capture uh, the spirit of the game as much as we capture the news of the game, right? So we kind of want to be what your, we want our social media feeds to feel like what your group chats feel like when you're texting your friends during the middle of a game, right? That's what we want our social media feeds to feel like. So um, we've built a staff of 25 people uh, that we call our social moments team. That team is tasked with um, identifying potential opportunities for huge social wins and game planning around how we win those moments. Uh, so so for, for a game like tonight, we'll have two what we call pods set up. Um, pods would be uh, collectives of uh, three to five people uh, from, from our social media team. So we have, uh, usually it's two idea people, ideators, guys who just, or girls who sit around and think about ways to respond to moments that happen in game. So big LeBron James dunk or Steph Curry goes off for a bunch of threes in the third quarter. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna, how are we gonna respond on social in a way that reflects the spirit of that particular moment? So we'll have two pods working. Uh, that pod will have two ideators, uh, one uh, person who focuses on static graphics. So think taking statistics and creating still images that reflect that statistic. Uh, and then another person will be focused on what we call uh, advanced video editing. So in the sizzle reel, you might have saw one where we took LeBron James, a fast break dunk, and made him jump like 15 feet in the air. That takes uh, you know, advanced video editing skills, so we'll have one person that's doing that. So the first pod um, with those you know, four to five different positions will be focused on what we call wave one and wave two responses. Wave one and wave two responses would be responses to stuff that happens in the game in real time. Um, now, I know most of you here know about rights issues, right? So we're part of, we have deals with the different networks and so we have rights to some games. Sometimes we have to wait till the end of the game before we can show anything and sometimes we can do real time highlights right as they happen. So if it's a game where we have real time highlights, we wanna create a treatment to that particular highlight immediately. Um, if it's a game where we have to wait, then we'll wait. Uh, but yeah, so they're focused on wave, what we call wave one and wave two reactions. Wave two extends about, wave one is real time, wave two is, extends out, I'd say about an hour after the game is over. Uh, so we're trying to get stuff out within that window. And then the second pod composed of uh, similarly skilled individuals, uh, but they're focused on what we call wave three and wave four responses. Wave three responses would be uh, more than an hour after the game finishes all the way up through 7 a.m. the next morning when, like if it's a West Coast game, right, and it ended at 1 a.m., a lot of people may, have, may not have seen the buzzer beater that, that closed out the game. So we'll present that to them as, as a wave four with some, some sort of advanced treatment. Um, so that's really how we set it up. We do a lot of advanced game planning. We talk about storylines. We talk about, you know, who the star players are, who the keys are. Today we rolled out our... Uh, sort of six-part Instagram series on leading up to the to the game. We've got a cartoon that literally I was sending an email up about before I came up today. It's like a Drake-centered cartoon that we're going to roll out. Um, so yeah, we do a lot of pre-planning, and then we have two pods that work the games in real time.